Okay, now we're going to get into the fun stuff, which is taking a um, quadratic equation from the oh, standard form and changing it into vertex form by, hello, completing the square. And I still have not received my cup of coffee yet. I have not drank any coffee this morning. I, I don't function well. But anyways, so what do I do? First, I'm going to move C to the other side. So I can create an opportunity where the A and the B terms are by itself, right here. But how, before I get my special special number, to make this right in here into a perfect square trinomial, what do I have to do? Uh oh, we have a negative 2. That's not going to work. That is not going to work. So what do I do with that negative 2? I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. Why? Because I needed it to be 1. So I have y over negative 2. Ha, huh, get it? Minus 41 over 2 equals x squared plus 8x. Now we have a perfect setup right here to make myself a perfect square trinomial. How do I do that? I find the special special number using b. So I have 8 divided by 2. Square that. And so that's 4 squared, which is 16. That will create a situation where this is a perfect square trinomial. And the reason we're doing that so we can factor it nicely into two exactly the same binomials. Right? Now, we have to take care of this business over here. Let's see, y divided by negative 2. There's nothing we can do, but look here. 16 and negative 41 over 2. So let's go ahead and add them. I'm going to put them right next to each other. Okay? Now, we have to have common denominators. So we need a um, common denominator of 2. So uh, let's see, 16 times 2 is going to be 32, so it's 32 over 2 minus 41 over 2 equals x plus 4 squared. And then I have y divided by negative 2. So I have y divided by negative 2 minus, um, that's going to be 9 over 2 now, equals x plus 4 over 2. Now we're left with a term that is numbers and a term that includes the y. So now we can move this, start moving things to the other side to isolate for y. Okay, so we have y divided by 2 equals x plus 4 squared plus 9 halves because we just moved that to the other side. We keep this intact, guys. Do not do anything with it. We're trying to put it into vertex form. Oops, I put, didn't put a negative here. Now, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. When I do that, on this side I have y equals here. When I multiply that first term, because this is an entire term by itself. Okay? By negative 2. I get this. And here, when I multiply 9 halves by negative 2, I get negative 9. So that, guys, is my final answer. Good job. That was so much fun. Still no cup of coffee. Need that really good cup of coffee. I hear Gary downstairs, but still nothing.